right to the freaking TV. Okay, she's right here. I don't know what to do. Oh! It's popping. Today we're playing three short horror games. Okay, this one is based on the movie Smile, which if you've seen is absolutely terrifying. So I'm excited. Um, wow, the graphics look really good. Okay, I'm a little spooked. If you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Um, but yeah, maybe get a drink, get a snack. This one's gonna be a fun one. So we're in a public restroom. Why are we here? Wait a sec. Oh my god. Wait, is that me? Is that someone smiling? Ew! Oh, I don't like this. Ew. Ew. Ew, stop it. Okay. All right, what a way to start a horror game. Oh, and we're controlling. I have to pee now, quickly. <laughs> Am I just yelling this? Okay, well, we, we actually just saw someone in here, so. Rick, you, lady. Okay, so I have to pee. So this is me. <laughs> Can't look me in the face. I just... All right, I don't think I need to pee. No, I'm good. Nah, let's just leave immediately. Goodbye, goodbye. Oh, what? <laughs> I just fell through the map. <laughs> I broke the game already. Okay, well, I have to freaking restart the whole game, so I'll be back. <laughs> okay, and we're back. That's such a long intro that you cannot skip for some reason. Okay, so why are the sinks all broken? All right, I didn't know that you could just walk through the door. I'm sorry, God. And also, is someone in here? Because look, it's red. What happened to this bathroom? Why would I just walk in? There's literally blood, dude. Okay, so where's the pee? Oh, there it is. What's happening? What's happening? I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Dude, look at this. What happened here? Where am I? Okay, let's just pee. Whatever. I'm peeing in the urinal that already has pee in it. What am I doing? I'm an idiot. Oh, Jesus. All right. You're in the wrong restroom, lady. Oh, I thought that was me farting. Oh my God. Did anyone else think that? Just... Just right in front of her. Okay, so there's a lady behind me. Yeah. Oh, she left. Okay, I guess we go that way, or maybe. Um, all right, we have some showers, it seems like. Okay, um, so why am I going this way again? Shouldn't I be... Oh! <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Don't scare me, I guess. Oh! Jesus Christ. Holy, okay, that was strange. I do not like that. Oh, am I still alive? <laughs> nice. Okay, I thought it was over. I guess not. And the game closed. That's it. Very short. <laughs> On to the next game. <laughs> okay, next game. Peter's house. Let's just press play. Steve. I don't like these two pictures. What are these pictures? These are eerie pictures, dude. Hello, this is Steve from Able Movers. How can I help you? Hi, Steve. This is Peter. I need help with moving some boxes tonight. Sure, we can definitely help you with that. Can you give me a bit more information about the job? Yeah, I have a few boxes that I need to move on my new house. I'll be out tonight, so the door will be unlocked. Okay, I can come over tonight and take care of it. Can you give me your address? Sure, my address is 619 Main Street. Great, I'll take care of everything. Is there anything else you need from us? Nope, that's all. Thank you so much, Steve. You're welcome, Peter. Have a good night. You too, thanks again. All right, so my name is Steve. All right, I'm out of here. Oh, <laughs> can't leave yet. I need to move boxes first. Got it. Okay, so we have a lot of boxes. This one says that it must go to the kitchen. Where's that? Oh, okay. I should probably hurry up with the boxes. I can grab something to drink later. Yeah, let's steal from this fridge. Okay, so this is interesting. Let's just check out the house first just to make sure. Okay, we got a That's gonna be upside down probably soon. What's in here? Wow. Okay, so he's literally just has nothing. <gasps> oh my god. Why? Why when I open the baby room? Okay, I don't like that. Why did that turn on? Frick you. This one says I must go in the living room. This is the living room, right? This is not the right place. What? This is not the living room? What's the living room? Oh, I'm an actual idiot. This is the living room. Okay, in the baby's bedroom. I do not like- This is so eerie, dude. Frick you, TV. Don't you dare turn on again. This one says I must go to the bedroom, which is this one. He's moving boxes, I'm moving some boxes, moving some boxes, yeah. The least scary horror game. <laughs> Why isn't anything happening? I'm, this makes it more scary. This one doesn't say where to place. Maybe I should open it? Oh, God. There's a journal inside and wedding rings. End of a marriage. I couldn't believe it when she threatened to leave me after all I'd done for her. She had the audacity to suggest that we separate because of a silly little dog. It's not like I did anything that bad. Sure, I can't. 
but it was barking too loudly and it was really starting to piss me off. And it's not like I haven't killed small animals before. Pigeons? Rats? What's the difference? But she couldn't handle it this time. She caught me in the act, holding the dog's ear in my hand like some sort of trophy. That's when she threatened to divorce me. Yeah, rightfully so. Peter. I couldn't let her leave me. I had to make her understand that I was in control. Now, whenever I look at that ring, I'm, I'm reminded of how powerful I am. Okay. Someone's here. Someone's actually here. Okay, this game is really creeping me out, dude. Bro. Okay. Everything is completely normal and not scary. So it doesn't say. <laughs> Do I have to? The journal inside and some glasses. This new part one. I was sure I had covered my tracks, but her sisters were getting suspicious. One of them came to speak to me in person, sensing that something was not right. She kept prying and asking too many questions, so I had to take action. I couldn't risk her snooping around, so I had to think fast. I tried to convince her that my wife was away on a trip and I wouldn't be back anytime soon, but she wasn't buying. She started getting too close, asking too many questions. In a moment of frustration, I grabbed a heavy object and struck her over the head. Her glasses flew off her head. She crumpled to the floor, groaning in pain. She lay there, grasping at her throat. I could feel her struggling beneath me as I squeezed the life out of her. It was a small victory. Okay. One more box. <clears throat> this one goes in here. All that work made me thirsty. I should get something to drink before I leave. Okay. Sounds good to me. Everybody won't mind if I take some of the juice. Time to go. But the door open, didn't it? Okay, let's jump out the window. No, okay, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Just, just gonna leave now. This one doesn't say. The vanishing act. It was only a matter of time before someone realized that my wife and her sister were missing. My wife's other sister, the one I had spared, had grown suspicious and went to the police. I knew that I had to act fast. I packed my bags and left town, but I knew it wasn't enough. The detectives would come looking for me, asking questions that I couldn't answer, so I came up with a plan. I knew that I couldn't just disappear and hope for the best. I had to make it seem like I, I too, was a victim. But I had vanished alongside my wife and her sister. It was a risky move, but I was confident that it would work. That is me. I began staging a break-in at her home. Oh, I smashed a window and ransacked this place, making it look like someone had broken and taken us all. I left a few items of clothing behind, along with some of her personal touches, to make it seem more convincing. Then I disappeared. However, to ensure that no one gets too close to me, I started learning how to spike drinks with drugs. Although I do not condone this behavior, it makes me feel powerful. When I press escape and I get a jump scare... Three, two, one... No? Okay. Why are these doors closed now? <gasps> What? Oh, oh God. Oh, God, please don't. Poop, the lights are out. I hope my phone battery didn't die. Come on, come on. There, I can see at least. Okay. I hear the phone. What? Mm hmm. Called it. Called it. The ring is upside down. This is a gross smell coming from the inside. I don't want to dare to open it. Sure, yep, that's fine. Let's turn that off immediately. Oh, there's a door. There's another. <gasps> frick you, frick you, frick you. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Just do it already. 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 Dang it! Jump scare me. Oh. The door scared me. Okay. Oh, what are we in the back rooms now? Grr. Let's take a answer, whatever that means. Hello, what do you want from me? Your job is to just move the dang boxes, not open them. <gasps> oh. Hello, Peter. Wow. Okay. Okay. That was good. That was really good, actually. On to game number three. Third. Here's game three. Use headphones for bed. I am. I am. I'm always wearing headphones. That's what makes it freaking scary. Okay, this one's called Sadako. Apparently, this is a game based off The Ring, which is a movie that is truly one of the scariest movies ever. If you've seen it, then you know. If you haven't, then let's just press play. 
at the graphics. All right, so we're in a nice little house. Oh, look at how cozy this is, dude. A nice fireplace. Yes, dude. Oh, yes. All right, so we got uh, crouch, inspect object. This is the coziest. Can I burn myself? No. <laughs> what kind of a game is this? There's a spoon. A knife. Make sure to remember where that is for later. Got it. I'm gonna have to probably put a VHS. In. Oh, frick. There's one by the door. Okay, we're not gonna pick that up yet. We're going upstairs first because I want to check out the house. Ooh, this is a little... No. No. <gasps> Why? Why? Please. Please tell me. I'm... I just went into my bedroom. Why am I dead? Am I dead? Hello? Yes. Okay, so I'm alive. All the power went out or something? What the heck happened? Yeah, I guess all the... Whoa, 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 whoa. Do that more so I can see. Freaking dark in here. Okay, so the TV's on. That's not creepy at all. The tape is here. What? <gasps> Uh-oh. All right, let's have a little seat. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, okay. We have a cutscene. Yep. She's crawling through the freaking TV. <laughs> oh, 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 God. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, she's right here. Go, 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 go. Holy. Okay. Go, 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 go. What do I do? What do I do? I'm just going to chill by the fireplace. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Oh, okay. Well, I'm dead. I just accept death. Hi. Wait, oh, okay, I guess there's something I can do. I'm gonna have her go around and then I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna do this instead. I'm gonna go towards the door, I guess. Or should I go upstairs? I don't know, I don't know what to do. Oh, <gasps> what? What is that? Oh my God, what do I do? Hide in the closet. <gasps> okay, someone's in the closet, there's... What? I can control this, kinda. Oh, I do not like this. Oh. What? Wow. That, that was good. That was pretty good. Well, yeah, there's three short horror games. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a like, subscribe for more, and yeah, see you tomorrow.